a shipper or retailer is gonna to have to pay more than they ever did before to move the goods from manufacturer to the store. Hi, my name is Jordan Allager. I'm the equity research analyst in charge of covering transportation and logistics at Goldman Sachs. When COVID hit, manufacturing shut down. Uh, when manufacturing restarted, it led to a massive surge in restocking and replenishment on the consumer shelves. We were underinvested in certain equipment before the pandemic. Labor has been short because people have been not coming back to the workplace as quickly as thought. And the combination of all those events has led the networks to be very tied up and very bottlenecked. And that's creating a backlog throughout the system. I think two of the more interesting ones are the number of ships sitting off the coast of California. At one point, we were over 100. We're still about 70, but in a normal year, it's a few. The other really interesting data point is the number of delivery days it takes to get from China or Asia to a final point in the United States. In a normal year, it's about 40 days. Right now, it's about 75 to 80 days. From a consumer standpoint, the major impact is, is due to inflationary pressures this has put on the system. For example, every single mode of transportation, truck, train, et cetera, is seeing all-time high rates. The retailer is not likely eating all of that. Much of that has to get passed on to the consumer, and we see that on the store shelf. Plus, people getting used to shopping from home when COVID first hit um, has led to a probably a long-term shift to by people's buying patterns. Our base case is that as we move to the second half of the year, things should start to ease. We've already started to see some easing um, in terms of the key pinch points, uh, but there's still a long way to go. We think people will come back to work. We think more equipment will be added, um, and that should help alleviate the worst of the congestion. But we probably won't see the full normalization until we get to 2023. One of the most important will be just end-use demand. As COVID hopefully recedes into the background, will people buy more services versus goods? Will hotel stays go up? Will people go on more vacations, go more to restaurants? In which case, that may impact the amount of goods being purchased. If there's less goods being purchased, that will help alleviate supply chain congestion as well.